What's up everybody, it's Alex himself reporting here from Espo, uh, Finland. We've just been through Vappu here in, in Finland, the spring and summer carnivore celebrations. And today we have a, a more interesting, well let's say, not, I'm not sure if it's going to be interesting, but at least a new live stream format. Uh, you can send me and submit your questions about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language in the form link in link to that is in the description i will be answering those and obviously hanging out uh, chilling out uh, chatting and interacting with you guys so looking forward to try this new concept and we have also a new uh, streaming software uh, stream yard you can see the logos in the top right corner and there's a bunch of uh, new cool features i can for example pop up pop up some of the comments on screen like for example we have julio or is it julio in, in in spanish not sure from miami florida we have we have hitman from colombia we have harman here as well elton one of our fantastic members as well moi we have fit therapy studio from korea based on the alphabet that's on the on, on the nickname we have marco also one of our uh, regulars here finnish one as well so if you have any uh, if you want other finnish opinions you can also pay attention to what marco is saying on the chat who else we have here we have ev as well as, as well so looking forward we have uh, we have alex we have justina we have Casilla. a lot of people around the world let me know in the chat in the comments from where you're joining this stream and Looking forward to gather all the fantastics around the world of this new live show. We have also the 80s SED from Mannheim. Mannheim is uh, in in Germany as as far as I know. I think I've been to Mannheim actually, so I guess I guess I should be I should know the answer to that one. Great. So uh, I have already got some questions from uh, to the form, so I'm going to go through those first. But I will be paying attention, obviously, to the chats. As well, but if you want to make sure you get your uh, question answered in the stream, make sure to use the form in the in the in the description box below. Great. So let's see how it's going to work. I have also, as you can see, my I have a boom arm with the blue yeti and and a shock mount, so everything. So I think it looks. I feel it's kind of awkward because the boom arm kind of takes one third of the uh, screen there, but I think it will be fine. I just just probably had to adjust adjust using adjust to using this and just practice it and i guess it will be fine great we have also pamela pamela here maria also one of our members awesome good to have you here let me also know if the volume levels are too high or too low because i guess it, it kind of depends how further away the mic is from my mouth and so on but let's go to the first question of this live show fantastic live show let's do it uh so the first question where's my mouse okay there is first question comes from elton uh from united states and there's uh, um, uh, from new jersey uh elton hasn't decided yet whether he wants to move to finland or not and he's he's interested in the countryside specifically and uh, he got interested in finland because of uh, horse riding snow igloos of winter activities sounds pretty good and his question is, uh, will there be any rail infrastructure that will extend service beyond northern Lapland uh, to the border of Norway? Okay, so it's an interesting question. So one of the public transportation methods you can use in Finland is obviously railway or train. But as far as I know, you can only travel to Russia by train. So you can't go to Sweden or Norway at least at I, I it, uh, as far as I know, but I have heard that there is a project uh, which uh, which uh, which is about finding out if there could be a railway connection to Sweden from Sweden to Finland. I, I think it makes sense because they're neighboring countries, and to be honest, I don't know why they haven't actually done that before. But it would make sense because then trans uh, commuting or well it could it could be it could be commuting but traveling between the two countries would make a lot of sense at least to me. What do you guys think? But yeah, so you can only go to Russia at as uh, at at the moment as far as I know. But it's an interesting question. Hopefully they will expand the infrastructure and make it easier to travel between the Nordic countries. Okay, people are saying the volume is great. 
sound quality is great awesome fantastic great question let's take let's take the next question from luana from uh australia and she's moving to finland within within a year so uh, amazing and she's coming uh, the reason she's coming to finland is to the work and her question is my, my kids are six and eight moving to london to tampere tampere is a kick-ass city i lived there for six years uh, moving to tampere in july the school they are going to in tampere said many kids to many kids go to school by themselves which make me unsettled mm, okay do most kids go to <laughs> do most kids go to school on un unaccompanied well that's my, my english breaks totally there uh are kids quite independent in finland thanks luana thanks for the question this is a very interesting question and uh let me tell you a story so when i was a kid uh i went to the school or i started the basic elementary school at the age of eight so actually i was actually one year older than the other kids so i started one school this i started the school one year late and to my school back in the days it was maybe two to three kilometers ride or like the the, the distance and the first weeks i went there by uh, with my parents but after that i went to the school by bicycle on my own for every day for the rest of my life basically well obviously some exceptions were here and there but the answer is yes so Finnish kids do definitely uh, go are quite independent in terms of going to school. So if the if the distance is like reasonable, if it's like if it's like ten kilometers, it, that wouldn't make any sense. Usually, the city organizes uh, a transport for the kids to go to the school. Uh, I think it costs a little bit, but I think it's some some way subsidized, so it's it's not that expensive. But yes, I I did that. 20 years ago, like 25 years ago, around 23 years ago when I started the school. But that's how actually I think it works still. That's just my personal opinion. But uh, I'm, I'm quite sure, 90% sure that kids in Finland would do this. How how things, how things is this in your country? Do kids go by themselves to the school? Or are the parents, you know, taking them to school? Well, let me know. I would love to hear uh, Marco has here some comment. Uh, yes, I was nine years and I started to walk to school by myself. It is normal here in Finland. Okay, so it seems I'm I'm pretty uh, right, on, right on track on this. Uh, Pamela says kids even take the train and metro by themselves. Okay, this is something I didn't do because in my hometown, Kokkola, we had only buses. And I think we still have only buses. I went there by bicycle. And it was great exercise also. Uh is there any other comments? Uh, the question is, Marco has another comment. I think the question is related to safety. Let me say Finland is very safe for children to walk. I completely agree. So that's one of the great things. If you want to raise your kids, you raise your family in Finland, Finland is definitely one of the top countries to do so. Obviously, that's, that's a bit biased opinion as a Finn. But I've lived here. I've been born and raised here. So I can say from my own experience that it's very safe to do. Great, uh, great question. Hopefully, this uh, hopefully my answer helped, and thanks for other people also sharing their thoughts in the comments. Let's take the next question from Justina from Poland. Uh, she's actually also moving to Finland also within one year, uh, and the reason she's doing that is because of of a Finnish family member or partner, and she got interested in Finland because of nature, better economics than. She met two Finns separately, and they were the best kind of people. Wow, that's amazing. And the question is, a fun date ideas in Finland? Maybe something from your own experience. Uh, happy face emoji. <laughs> okay, we're getting to the most, uh, most interesting, most fun topic of this channel, dating in Finland. Oh, my goodness. We have so many interesting conversations on that. Um, well, if you ask me, I'm, I think I'm not one of the most creative pair people for dates i guess it depends like if it's going to be the first date or if it's a part partner you're already in a relationship with but um okay one thing that come, is coming to my mind right right on the top of my head is ice ocean i almost spilled my glass is ice swimming <laughs> well i know it's a little bit extreme 
maybe not one of the <laughs> safest bets and obviously you have to be in your swimwear so but you know Finns are not afraid to show off some skin you know uh, maybe in your bad like in your swimming wear and stuff but I don't know I think it's not where it's it's not a typical first date definitely not but if you already established your relationship a little bit maybe you're still dating you have a few dates or if it's already a partner ice swimming is can be a lot of fun uh what else maybe nature hiking there's a lot of awesome nature areas in finland in each city even here in helsinki there's a lot of places that i think that's very very safe safe and fun way to get a little bit activity I, well uh, i would say if, if it's going to be a first date have some sort of activity because if it's just gonna go coffee it's gonna be like passive you're, you're just sitting there it can get kind of boring but if you're doing something you're having like activity on the go it's gonna be much more interesting you're gonna get much more uh, you're gonna get a better impression of the person as well what do you guys think if let me suggest me some dating ideas uh, in finland if you know some uh, Justin has also in the talk. Haha, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I will. Ha, I will take a note. Awesome. Uh, is there any other dating, dating related stuff? I think people are still typing, but let me know. Um, like, let's. I, I would say. Let's me. Let, I'll see if I can come up with anything else. But you know, I, I don't think there's any like Finland specific date idea that everyone kind of knows about. Yeah, but my, my, those are two. I've told, those are two things. I hope you can get started with those. Uh, let's see. I'm just a quick. Uh, Karima is sending good vibes. Uh, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of comments. I will get to the comments also later on. Don't worry. Uh, next question we have from Eric uh, from South Africa. Good stuff. Also moving to Finland within a year because of working, and Eric got interested in Finland because social uh, safety, social welfare system, Finns boost consumption. <laughs> Finns boost consumption. Oh my goodness! What a what a reason to get interested in Finland. Uh, and the question is, uh, is it true that Finns appreciate it when it when it, when foreigners at least try to learn Finnish? Worried that my lack of Finnish will be a problem. When trying to find work, I just started to learn. Excellent question, and I can tell you, Eric, that if you just learn, or even if you just know a little bit of fin Finnish, Finns are gonna respect you so much, because we here in Finland we acknowledge the fact that Finnish is a very minor language and it's also quite difficult language. So if we come across a person who is actually, uh, well, first of all, putting an effort to learn it and let alone if they can speak it a little they're gonna be like whoa this person is trying to learn or stuff who is this guy i want to know more about them like that's that's how i would say the general reaction reaction would be and and to <laughs> and as a, i can give you a pro tip if you know a very funny uh, random phrase in Finnish. It's gonna be even better. Uh, one of the phrases what I usually suggest, uh, I, I can because of the new software, I can actually write the comments myself. Um, let me improve my posture here. Uh, if you say in Finnish, on metsuri ja juon kalia. If you say this, I'm gonna put it on the screen as well. This means I'm a lumberjack and I drink beer. <laughs> So if you can say this just kind of randomly, you're gonna make them laugh one hundred percent. This is not like a, any like a, it's just a random phrase. It's not any. It doesn't have any kind of like a cultural significance whatsoever. Or it's just a random funny Finnish phrase. If you know this and say this to Finns in in some kind of like a in in a conversation or whatever, you're gonna make them laugh. Great question. Let me just have a quick look at the comments. Uh, cool, yeah. And I usually try to look in the comments if there's anything related to the question sent. So, but uh, okay, people think people think this phrase is funny, but yeah, just write this down and learn this. 
learned learned this phrase. This is this is like a one of the phrases you should learn. And I think it's quite simple. I can also pronounce it for you. On metsuri ja juon kalia. On metsuri ja juon kalia. Okay, I'm a lumberjack and I drink beer. I I I I I, I've, I just realized I should have written the translation also to the comment, but that's what it means. Great. Uh, next question is from Annalisa, and she's from Nevada, USA. She hasn't decided whether she wants to move to Finland. Uh, she's she would she's interested in tourism, vacation, ex explore, and she got interested in Finland because of beautiful language, fine men, and honest culture. What a great, such a great, such a great list of reasons. And her question is: Do Finnish men have an interest in beautiful Latino women of Spanish Italian descent? <laughs> great question great question uh i don't see why not well well per, from my personal perspective well i think from any descent there can be sexually attractive people it doesn't have let it, it's it doesn't matter whether well i i'm into ladies so i'm just using the examples i it doesn't matter if she's from from Asia or from South America or North America or Africa. So I think from any type parts of the world, there can be attractive people. But uh, I think Finnish men in special, like Finnish men specifically, I don't see why not. I, I don't see why not. I, I think I, I think Latino women are great. Well, I'm, I'm already in a relationship, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not searching for anyone anymore. So, but I, I don't. I wouldn't. I, uh, I wouldn't have any tr any any obstacle of not dating a Latino woman. I think I have actually been to a date with a Latino woman in the past. Uh, yeah. So, and I think I also know some Finnish guys who have a Latino or Latina. I guess is the right word. Latina partner. Cool. Okay, H says, uh, "Hi, cool setup, looks good. Thank you." So I'm, I, I have the, I invested some in some equipment. I am using a soft new software, Streamyard. It's the free version because I just wanted to try it once to see it how it's gonna go. And so far, so good. Uh, Alexander says, "This descent matters, but Latino sounds hot. Sounds sounds great. I think so too." Uh, 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 Carl from Finland says, just make sure you devote 100% to adapt to Finnish culture and learn Finnish ASAP, then you will be all right. I think this is related to the previous question, but yeah, uh, you don't really have to be fluent in Finnish at all, in my opinion. But if you're just putting some effort and you're showing the Finns that you're learning the Finnish, it's going to be, I think it's going to be amazing. Evias is, uh, is no around. Yeah, actually, he's, he's in the other room. We can. We can invite him to as a guest in a, in, a, in, a, in a moment. Great. Thank you for those questions so far. I, I think these are really great questions. Let's move to the next one uh, from Alexandra. She's from Romania. She's moving to Finland within three years. So that's amazing. Uh, sh her, she's looking forward to work in Finland. And uh, she got interested because of working at the Finnish company. And a question is, hold on, let me just, mm, I'm going to just wrap the text because it's just messed up a little bit. Okay. As a EU citizen, uh, if I move to work in Finland, can I access sort of state-funded health service or do I have to conduct private one individually? Thanks. That's a great question. We are, we are now talking about the healthcare system in Finland. And many people ask, like, is the healthcare free in Finland? Well, the answer is no, but it's actually quite inexpensive. And the uh, how or who is entitled to healthcare in Finland? And the short answer to this is anyone who has a domicile in Finland. And what is a domicile or who? how do you get the domicile? Well, if you're considered to live in Finland on permanent basis, you usually get the domicile. Let's say if you're going to live in Espoo, your domicile will be Espoo. And you are 
you will be entitled to the healthcare services of city of Espoo. All right. So you will get same access to the same services as anyone else living in Espoo. For example, I'm living in Espoo. I can use the public health care services of Espoo. And if you move to Espoo, you are considered to move to Espoo on a permanent basis. You get domicile. You are also entitled to use the Espo, city of Espoo services. I'm not quite sure how the small details work, but this is what I have understood. And because you come from a EU, European Union country, you can also apply to something called, uh, hold on, let me just Google it. Is it the uh, European, hold on, I'm just Googling something. Okay. Uh, European health insurance card. And again, I'm not quite sure of the small details, but the way it works is that you can apply to this car, apply for this card at your home country. And if you show it in Finland, you are entitled uh, to the same healthcare services as you would be in your home country. So all the European Union guys out there and girls as well, make sure to look into this uh, European health insurance card because it's going to be very helpful as well in Finland. So these are the two things what I would consider. Then obviously there is the social security system and private health care, but I'm not going to go too much into those because uh, that will probably require a live stream of, of its own. But by the way, I'm also creating an online course about moving to Finland and this uh, live uh, health, public health care or healthcare system is going to be one of the modules in that course. I forgot to create a waiting list for this live stream, but I think I will make it next week or uh, soon that if you're interested uh, getting early access or getting the updates of the online course, you can join the waiting list. Uh, but I will talk more about that later. Let's see if the comments. Oh, Alex. Uh, about, yeah. Well, wow, that's great, says Alex. And I'm not sure if actually it was you who sent the comment. I, I think is I think you're from Romania. You've been on the channel for a while. Random casual, good stuff. Uh, EV says I need that course ASAP. Yeah. Well, my my goal is to actually publish it next uh, in June. So I'm currently working on the lessons with a few beta testers. And it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of valuable stuff there, all the way of the mandatory registrations, how to find your apartment, how to save money, how to find the best deals, uh, everything what you need to get your life started well in Finland is gonna be in that course. Great, let's move to the next question. Do we, we have one more question in the in the forms then we can look more in the into the comments comments and by the way if you send a super chat super chats are going to be prioritized over over the or to the top so i will read those first so if you want to consider super consider supporting this channel you can send the super chat there's this dollar sign below the chat and so on. and if you send a message to that i will make sure your your message will be read Great. Oh, I think I need to take a breath. I think I'm talking too fast, like a machine gun uh, way. Okay. Uh, next question is from Andre from Russia with love. Okay. Sorry. It's just, I'm just trying to be funny and I'm, I'm failing miserably. Uh, I'm planning to move to Finland within, or he's planning to move to Finland within five years because of, uh, he wants to work here. And the reason why he got to Finland in the first, or got interested in Finland in the first place, it's because it's close to find, close enough to find a place for a new life. Okay, that sounds great. And the question is, do Finnish people, uh, girls in brackets, feel okay to start a relationship with a person who lives far away and therefore dates obviously would happen quite rare, like one to three times per month? Okay, interesting question. So this is about long distance relationships. And I think the answer is yes. I I have encountered many people who are are either in a long distance relationships or are or the people who are or, or are in a long distance relationship at the moment or have been in one. 
I have personally been in one as well. But that was kind of crazy because my girlfriend was living in Japan. I was living in Finland. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that was kind of crazy. Uh, well, kind of, kind of extreme. Uh, but the answer is yes. I I I know person people also girls who have done that. But it depends on the person. Some people prefer not to do, go into long distance relationships. Some people. Some people then again might do that. So the answer is yes. Depends on the person though. Uh, Pilar says I used to be in one. And now we live together. Great. So some people actually managed to kind of settle uh, or let's say survive the long distance phrase. Uh, Pamela says, uh, we were about we were for about a year. Then I moved to Finland. We will be married 14 years this summer. Wow. Congrats, Pamela. That's great. That's great to hear. Harman says, I've I dated Finnish girl before. OK, that's great. Cool. So if you just tuned in, we are doing we are, we are answering your questions about Finnish cultural lifestyle and language. If you want to submit your question uh, to the to the stream and make want to make sure I answer your question, there's a link in the description, like a form link. You can just submit the question, the fill in the information, and it will be popping up here on my screen, and I will read those as well. So make sure to uh, use that if you want to make sure your question will be answered. Great, let's have a look at the uh, chat next. KH says, oh my God, there's a lot of questions about dating. Alex, I started dating after this, lol, it might be fun. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, you know, dating in Finland is easiest, well, by far the one of the most popular topics on this channel. So, and I, I, I like to talk about dating in general. It's always interesting about the dynamics in dating and, and one kind of funny thing is that I get questions, especially from girls around the world, like saying, "Like Alex, I've, I have a crush on this Finnish guy, but I don't know how he's feeling or if he has feelings for me." Alex, please help. <laughs> yeah, but the Finnish guys can be a little bit tricky, tricky sometimes because they don't really express their feelings easily, and mm -hmm. the communication skills maybe might not be as open as in some parts of the world. Yeah, but uh, dating, dating up in Finland, that sounds, well, there's, there's already Tinder, and there's a lot of other quite useful options. So I think those work quite nicely. Uh, uh, uh. Alexander titled me the Dr. Love. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Jesse asks, how can you meet single women or men from Finland who are into LDR? What is LDR? Is, is there like a hole in my civilization or like, <laughs> no, not civilization, but you know, like my, in my basic knowledge? Can, guys, can you help me out? What is a long, a long distance relationship probably is what we, okay. Uh, well, I, I think... If you live already in another country, go with the dating apps, Tinder, OkCupid, Bumble. I think there's many options nowadays. Uh, let's take the next question. Yeah, long distance relations. Right? I just kind of like a realized realized it in. A... Okay, let's take uh, Esther Turek. Uh, a Finnish guy broke my heart. One day he said he really likes me. The other day he had to go back to Finland and started to ignore me. He said long distance would not work for him. Well, sorry to hear that. And obviously this can happen. You know, like some people, like I know that many pe many people around the world say like Finnish guys are so sexy. They're taking care of the home. They they love to take care of the family. They do the household work. You know, they're great in bed as well. But you know, there can be also this not so not so good people as well in finland among guys among girls you know ghosting can happen some people are douchebags it's just it's just how life works some people are not just good people and that's that's just that's just the, good to keep in mind like the finnish guys and girls are not the perfect 
perfect partners out there. Yeah, sorry to hear that, but it's it's good to good to keep in mind. Jesse says, thanks for reading my questions. Thank you, Jesse. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's take the next question from Vivian. Moi, my name is Vivian. My question would be, is it too annoying for Finns if someone, obviously me, talks too much? I mean, in a relationship of any kind of relationship, love from Hungary. Great question. This is actually <laughs> quite funny because my girlfriend, she talks a lot. And I think it's just great because if... if if a lady would just keep her mouth shut, uh, shut that, that would be boring. And obviously, I guess if there has to be good conversation, good communication. So I guess it depends on the people or the person. I personally don't mind if they talk too much, if they also remember, remember to listen to me as well or give, give me also a chance to talk. So... I wouldn't be worried as long as you just remember to listen and give them also the opportunity to, to talk. So I think that would be, uh, if you just keep in the, keep that in mind, I think you'll, you'll be good to go. That's a good, good question. Good question. Uh, also just a quick a reminder, if you're just new here and you haven't been following me on Instagram, make sure to do so. There's a link to the description on that. I usually reply to DMs and uh, answer the questions there as well. And then I'm also posting these funny Instagram reels about fun Finnish content. So make sure to follow me on Instagram, link into that link to link to my IG in the, in the description. Cool. Let's go back to the comment section. Alexander says, I have a very chatty Finnish friend who shocked me in the beginning because Google said Finns are not chatty. Yeah, this is actually a very good point that don't take the stereotypes for granted. You know, stereotypes that Finns are shy, they are reserved, they drink only booze, you know, these kind of things, because they are stereotypes. They might be true for a person that's of the people, of Finland, for example, but there are also those social, funny, outgoing, talkative uh, people as well. So, so remember to have this like a critical sense, uh, or like a little bit of like, or when you're reading about stereotypes, take them with a bit of grain of salt because they are stereotypes. And for example, if stereotype stereotypes say that Finns are shy, it doesn't mean that or reserved. It doesn't mean that you should should not go to talk to them. I think quite the contrary. Finns like to encounter people, but they just don't do it themselves first. They don't take the action. Okay, great question. Uh, Kaz Kaz A or Kaza maybe. I'm going to travel to Finland on November or December, I will travel alone. I want to learn basic phrases to go to Finland has been my dream for many years. And this year I I won a bet to my husband. Okay. Yeah, I mean, learning the basic phrases is always helpful. But the good news is that in Finland, Finns speak quite good English overall. So, but obviously if you know the phrases, again, it's, it's a little bit easier to strike conversations with, with Finns, for, for instance. And, uh, well, sometimes you might encounter a person who doesn't speak English, for instance. I have also some basic... Uh, I have made a play, I have a playlist of, uh, like, a handful of videos where I teach some basic stuff of Finns, Finnish language as well. <laughs> cool, I need to improve my posture a little bit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Ah, Maria also mentions, commenting now on a long distance relationship, my Finnish boyfriend and I have been managing it since 2017, being quite hard with Pandora happening. Uh, but it's possible, don't give up. I'm not, I'm not sure what Pandora means at this, I'm not sure, I think it's Corona maybe, but 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, some people can manage it. And even with, with Finns, can you guys believe that? Cool. Yeah, Pamela, Pamela says that Finns do speak great English and they are so shy about using. Yeah, that's also a great point. Like Finns speak quite good English, but you know, the Finnish kind of Finnish mindset is that they always kind of like downplay on themselves, even if the Finnish level is actually quite good, but they still think it's actually not up to the standard where it is, where it actually is. And I was I just watched a TikTok of from a Finnish girl who said that she hates the fact that uh, in Finns you can never tell something where where you're good at because it's usually considered bragging even if you don't want to consider bragging. Well, uh, and I have also personal experience on this. Like back in the days when I went on dates, uh, on on dates I usually asked the girl like where is she good at. Because that usually tells about her background and her skills and 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 so on. But I all, quite often says like I don't know. Even if it could be like anything like uh, cooking or dogs or whatever, you know, like the Finns, Finns can be a little bit too shy sometimes in in terms of skill set or what, or like like when it comes down to being good at something. Can we vote what to display on your wall? Actually, that's something I thought because it's just like a blank wall, blank white wall. I thought about maybe getting this kind of like a blue light that would put like a blue light on the background. I think it would be kind of cool, but it's a great idea. Maybe we can think of something like that. Uh, let me just... I'm just checking if there's any new questions on the forms. I'm gonna just refresh it. Yeah. So if you wanna make sure I will answer your question, uh, or if you have an, if you have a question and wanna answer, there's a link to the form in the description. You can it, there's a few questions and you can just easily fill it, and it will be appearing here on my screen, and I will be answering those. But obviously, I will be interacting with the comments as well. Justina mentions, by the way, just so the comments that appear on the screen for some reason are very low now, but we can see the full comment at the beginning. That's fine. What did you click? Really? So you don't see the comment. Is that right? Or are they like too low? Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just, this is the first time actually. Uh, well, I, I tested it out before this. <laughs> this stream so but you know it's when you actually start to do it there might be something that always gets messed up but uh did oliver suggest the form to you well well he didn't suggest it but uh i got the idea from him and from other youtubers who kind of do the similar kind of this live stream where they answer the comments so yeah i'm kind of borrowing the idea not borrowing not stealing <laughs> yeah yeah, but I, I, de I definitely got inspired from Oliver because he, he does the weekly live streams of, of, with this format. And I wanted to try it, try it out as well and see how it would work. Uh, I can see it, house cover, but I, we can, see, but only half of it. It got lower somehow. Aha, uh -huh, okay. That's kind of weird. Maybe, maybe I need to need to check it out because it seems some people can see it at least so maybe i'll need to watch the stream afterwards with this uh, marco says mm, people who are coming to finland this summer remember that covid is not over yet yeah i'm we're getting better this the vaccinations are proceeding quite nicely but it, we are not all it's still we're not over it just like oliver is uh, oliver mentions we see it, but just only half of it. It got lowered somehow. Uh huh. Okay, because here on my, what I'm seeing, it's it's supposed to appear like properly, but I don't know. Maybe it's for working weird. A uh, papu mies. <laughs> this is funny. Name. Are Finnish people chatting in shops? Do Finnish people help much other Finns? I mean, strangers. Uh, in shops, not really. But I remember I was uh, last midsummer. 
I was in Kajani or Sotkamo, which is a kind of small city in the north. We went to Alko, or was it like a K supermarket? Or well, like a supermarket basically to buy food and drinks. And uh, in the city center, we got into small talks with three strangers in like a one hour of time frame. That would never happen in Helsinki. So it seems in the smaller cities, people are tend to be more chatty. Uh, but the question was with this help, do Finns help? Yeah, I mean, they do definitely help. So, uh, for example, yesterday I was reading that there was a short lady, maybe like 160 centimeters or something, and she was trying to retrieve a package from this, some from this like a locker postal service. And the top, top row of those lockers were actually quite high so she couldn't actually reach there so she just asked some passerby to if uh, like a taller person to to actually pick it up or like get it for her and and yeah so it happened so but yeah Finns definitely help definitely especially if you ask for help so it definitely definitely works Okay, we have a new question in the forms. Let's let me take that one next. Uh, let me just wrap the text so I can easily. We have from uh, from uh, Altai from Netherlands. He hasn't decided uh, whether he wants to move to Finland or not, but he's interested in working in Finland, and he got interested in Finland because of uh, the. Uh, he's saying the people look very familiar where I come from. Okay, that's actually quite interesting, and. The question is, hello, I'm an European guy who's thinking about working to f moving to Finland. Could you give me some advice about migrating into Finland? Thanks you f for your reply. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, if you are from a European Union country, it's much easier for you to come here because you don't really need, you don't need a residence permit. Because in within Finland, people are free, free to move or people can freely move live and work in any anywhere in the European Union uh, but you you need to do something called registering your res right to residency uh, at the immigration service and basically you need one of the following you need a, a study a study place workplace family member or just enough money to support yourself if you can prov provide any of one of these reasons you should be good to go. So, yeah, so that's the kind of the first step, uh, what you should work on or decide. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's what you need to decide before you can actually start making plans. Once you got here, obviously, you need to do kind of the mandatory registrations, find a place, uh, and then either study work, or just live off your funds, basically. That's that's how it works. I don't. I, I don't. I, I think I, that's all the advice I can give you at this point. But thanks for the question. Oh, I forgot the comment is still on the screen with Papu Mes. Uh, William says I found that Finns are happy to be helpful. I think so too. How bad is the COVID situation in Finland? Well, I think it's now getting better, but we have still some restrictions going on. By the way, guys, if you want to support the channel with and get your fantastic merch, for example, the fantastic T-shirt, there's a link to this link the link in the description for that. I think I should put a banner about that as well. And there's a worldwide delivery. There's a few different designs of this of the t-shirts there's uh one mug coffee cup you can also get and i think a pillow uh at the moment i think i should update the merch a little bit but there's still a few items you can get and make sure to join the fantastic team the fantastics and get your own merch great um carl von finland says we have lost our bags twice when traveling in finland and they were handled into the poly finish police on both occasions yeah that's actually a good thing like if if you lose your stuff in finland you are well i'm not i don't know how how what is the probability to actually get it back but that's actually quite high i have personally one once like i lost my wallet i was bicycling 
and it seems it just fell out of my pocket. I was looking for it for hours, but I couldn't find it. And a few weeks ago, I got a, I got a, I was contacted by the police that hey, I think we got your wallet. And uh, <laughs> I asked like, okay, how did you find it? Like some someone had put it in the mailbox. And basically, what it does when the post people emptied the post box they saw okay there's someone's wallet the police deliver uh, the post guys the post delivered to the police and because there was my, my all my cards were there i think the person only took like 20 euros as a kind of like a like a reward for himself but i didn't care as long as i had all my cards there they they what they were able to find figure out whose the wallet was it was mine and then they had my contact info in the population register and that's how they that's how i got it back <laughs> yeah so wtf welcome to finland uh amazing country with reliable people yeah i think that i think so too I, I'm, I'm i'm and i'm really happy that you guys uh like internationals also think it that way uh justina says yeah i lost my back in poland people f that found it contact me via facebook and send me a location bar <laughs> i had to buy them beers to get my back happy to move to finland haha <laughs> well okay well i think if you get your stuff back with the cost of a beer i, I think that's worth the money uh hello hello to you again from when i trying to improve or finish okay good stuff keep up the good work Pamela says, uh, I lost my school back with glasses and all my school stuff, tablet on the bus. It was turned into a lost and found, and I got it back in two days later at lost and found Pasila. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, if you lose your stuff, you're, you're especially like a valuable item, you can, it's, there's a chance that you can get it back. In the USA, I would have never seen it again. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have 98 people in the stream actually that's pretty pretty great usually i've been doing the live walking live stream i think they're a little bit more interesting because now you're just watching me here in my in my in my new bedroom and talking to the microphone so it's actually not not as interesting if you consider that we would be walking somewhere in Finland. by the way i'm gonna do those walking live streams in the future i'm just testing out this new 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 format of live streams and i i think so far so good it seems we had some technical difficulties with the comments by the way guys let me know in the comments if i put it like this can you guys see the comment is, is it display being displayed properly on the screen let me know in the comments andre says uh, in russia i've lost my student id and the girl who found it contact me through social media okay it's great that in russia it happens too but yeah is, is are these comments showing this being displayed properly i never got anything back in sweden well I, I would assume that in sweden you would get your stuff back as well hey we have mura with uh, with 35 south african money and mira's also one of our members so let's give a quick shout out and a super sticker i cannot see the super sticker in this new software but it's prob probably going to be displayed to you probably so no problem but mira thank you so much for the super chats and all the or, or the or the super sticker and all for the previous super stickers you've sent me in the past as well really appreciate it uh you can get the green screen and put some finland background yeah I, i've been thinking about the green screen thing but i've been trying to keep it as simple as possible but maybe i could do it in the future who knows uh okay people are saying that you can see the see the everything properly on the phone at least so it seems there was some some hiccup hiccup there uh blood says what is the best city for partying <laughs> well i think helsinki obviously has the most people and most clubs but when i was studying in tampere we had crazy student parties there as well and Tampere, Tampere has definitely good parties. But I haven't been to 
Turku but I would assume there's some stuff in Turku, Jyväskylä. I think all, all the bigger cities do have but Helsinki is probably has probably the most options for you but other cities do have some pretty decent stuff as well. Alexander says I like this format great seems we are going in the right direction by the way if you haven't hit thumbs up for this live stream make sure to do so can I see the number of thumbs ups on this stream well I guess if I if I open the stream stream player on on YouTube then I would probably see it but I, I guess I could open it somewhere here here as well so as we are well yeah okay but let's anyways make sure to hit the thumbs up I think I should be able to see it just gonna open it here in a little bit and the, the good news about the the good thing about this new streaming software is that it's it's a bit it's it works in cloud so I don't have to use my own computer's resources to run the stream. Instead, it's being run on the cloud, which is quite nice because my computer is a little bit old, so it, it doesn't really do it that smoothly. 49 thumbs up shows my window, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, we talked about the green screen. Green screen. Maria says, Timo Saares, this is also things are running nicely great but we have a new question in the forum so let me just pick it up from there just a moment we have Daniel Kelly from Jamaica and he's already living in Finland that's great and he's studying in Finland and he got interested in, in Finland because of education and the question is, Alexi, what is the chance that the Finnish girl will reply to me if I go to her and introduce myself? <laughs> okay, I like that. Bold and direct. Uh, well, it depends on many factors. Obviously, like how you introduce yourself, if you're just going to go, I mean, or how would I explain it? I mean, uh, you need to have kind of this situational sense of, uh, situational sense. For example, I have sometimes, well, back in the days when I was a young mofo, <laughs> uh, I sometimes even approach girls in the street. And it's completely fine if you just know how to actually do that. So if you just don't like, like, hey, let's go on a date, that's not going to really work. I don't, I usually say, like, hey, this is a bit random, but I just thought your shoes were so cute and I had to say hello. And sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't and also how you how you're dressed i think your sense of style is important if you're just you know like a lousy clothes with the with the with the like a in a shitty condition t-shirts and and so on because you know i think finnish ladies they appreciate the sense like the fashion sense that's also important and obviously the sense of humor confidence these are also factors that finnish ladies definitely appreciate so i hope those will help you with success with the finnish ladies vicky is also here in the stream moi vicky vicky is also one of our fantastic members by the way if you want to become a member of this channel you can click the blue cho blue uh, uh, join button you can uh, get access to these cool emojis as well as some bonus content uh, it's a monthly recurring fee you can stop anytime you can join anytime but if you think the content is worth uh, worth it, consider becoming a member. And I, I just realized I can't really see that uh, if someone is actually using the emojis. So I guess I have to look, or keep an eye on the the actually the native chat as well. But I think it's not. Gonna, I think we'll be gonna be fine. I'm gonna move it to the other other screen so I can also keep an eye on that. Uh, great. So a lot of dating related questions, but keep on coming. I love to talk about dating. We have another question coming in on the form. Let's take it next. Uh, from Chris from USA. And Chris hasn't, uh, he hasn't decided whether he wants to book to Finland or not. 
but he would do that because of remigration of Finnish descent. That's great. And family heritage is one of the reasons why he got interested in Finland. And the question is, tell us what activities Finns like to do for fun. Fish, hunt, dance, etc. That's a great question. I think these, what you just mentioned, are one of some of the options that Finns can like to do, like to do on free time. There's a lot of things you can do. Uh, jogging, gym, uh, dance classes, uh, dog parks. For example, we have a golden retriever. We go to the dog park quite often. Uh, cooking classes, maybe some crafting. Mm, winter sports. There's, there's a lot of kind of things. I don't think there's any like specific like like that, that all things would do. It completely depends what what is your interest, and even if Finland Finland is quite small country we have, compared to other countries, we still have like communities for each type of uh, hobby, I would say. So completely depends what you're into. Some people like to do indoor stuff. Some people are more outdoor stuff. Some people like to do winter stuff. Some are on the sport, summer stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, Joe is also here. Joe is actually one of our uh, moderators. It feels like pretty much everything does cross-country skiing. Yeah, that's uh, in winter especially. It's a very uh, useful sport because it actually exerts and kind of put, uses all your important muscles when you are doing cross-country skiing. So it's actually very, very um, useful type of sport in terms of the uh, uh, from from your body perspective. Good questions, good questions. I hope my answers are also up to the standards. Alex himself, do you do you ship internationally? Uh, are we talking about the merch or what specifically we are referring to? If, if we're talking about the merch, yes, the merch is shipped worldwide. Uh, yeah, I'm just sort of looking at the native set. Mura is saying moro moro moro. Yeah, I'm just checking out that because yeah, because I have a, I'm using StreamYard. I can see the uh, chat on here, but for example, if you uh, if you use the emojis, they won't appear here. So I'm also looking at the native chat. Uh, uh. Maria says, and everyone in Finland hikes as well. I think hiking is definitely because we have these nature paths, quite uh, quite many of them. They're accessible, so why not? Okay, yes, the merch. Yeah, so the uh, so the merch is definitely shipped worldwide. As far as I know, I'm using Teespring to do that. So definitely, they should be able to ship worldwide is music a big thing yeah i th i would say so people Finns love music there's a lot of music festivals especially in the summer so i, I would say so i would say so is there an asian community in finland uh i'm quite sure there is there has to be that there's quite a bit of asians here is there any racial discrimination against asian or minority openly well this is Always a difficult question. Uh, I have read in the news that unfortunately there is some sort of discrimination there, but um, I, I wouldn't be worried about that. That's that's just what I how how I would say. And I I I've heard both sides, both sides of this. I've heard. Uh, foreigners who have got discriminated or have faced racism but on the other hand i have also heard stories from internationals who have never faced anything so it, it kind of there's also some luck factor there as uh, in there as well mm -hmm. if you have a bad luck you just happen to run into some very nasty douchebag fins they might be racist or kind of these narrow-minded people that's just how it works unfortunately Uh, Finns love ice hockey and they produce some great goalies. Tuukka Rask is one of them. Yeah, Finns is, uh, ice hockey is one of the top sports here. Yeah. 
Lulia Tree says, why Finns always interested to hear what foreigners say and think about Finns? And why do they invade every video that even slightly mentions Finland? This is this is something what I have been wondering about. So if any of you uh, non fin Finns would make a reaction video to Finnish music or you try to finish candies, you will get tens of thousands of views automatically. That's just <laughs> the history has shown this many times. But, but I think the reason is that because we have always thought that we are this kind of like a small country in the edge of the world, far in the, in the north. And we never, we are not used to have any international recognition. So if there's anyone uh, who talks about us something or tries something Finland related, we are always like, hey, someone is talking about Finland, let's go check it out. And that's just, I think that's the reason. <laughs> it's kind of weird to be honest. <laughs> So yeah, that's how it that's how it works. Marco says metal music is also big. I, I would say so. Yeah, I'm not a fan of metal music myself. Uh, Timo asks, "How good is Wi-Fi at home? Is it fast, expensive?" Okay, this is a great question. Internet is super reliable, super fast, and super inexpensive in Finland. Uh, most of the block of flats uh, and the housing, uh, the housing cooperative that runs the buildings, they have negotiated an, uh, ag an agreement with the internet operators, and they have installed all the connections and the broadbands and everything, which means that you can get super cheap internet. Uh, okay, for example, here. Uh, I have 100 megabyte speed. I think it's both ways, and I pay 10 euros a month. 10 euros a month. That's 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 pennies. How how much does how much does 100 megabyte? Well, okay, that's uh, that's what I believe as a fin. How much how much around pff, around how much does 100 megabyte internet? in your country cost let me know in the chat uh if i had just taken the basic basic speed like the 10 megabyte that would have been free zero nada zil okay i'm not even sure if that means zero but <laughs> uh, but yeah it's I, I think it's super super inexpensive uh and it's unlimited i can use it as much as i want i can stream all day all night long with you guys using the connection that's coming from the wall and 10 euros, 10 euros a month. Uh, let me just read the comments. I think there's people watching. We pay about 24 euros, 6 euros in Romania. Okay, that's even cheaper. It's unlimited data. For one gigabyte, we work from home and get the highest speed. 20 megabytes for $75 a month. I think that's around 60 euros. Middle of dessert, Arizona. Oh, Craig, what's up, Craig? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Craig is one of the better testers on the well, moving to Finland course. So good to have him here. But yeah, seventy-five dollars a month. Wow, for twenty megabytes. So here I have one hundred megabytes for ten euros a month. Wow. Okay, this, these are big differences. But yeah, uh, most of the house housing cooperatives have included and negotiated the deals with the operators some are do some don't actually my one of my best friends was visiting here yesterday uh in his building they have the connection coming out of the wall but they haven't negotiated the deal for the whole building and he pays 30 euros uh and i think he also has 100 megabytes so it depends but luckily mo many of the housing cooperatives have actually negotiated the deals with the operators so most likely you will be getting a good deal uh mr uncle chu i have 100 megabyte connection for 10 euros a month okay that's amazing i have no issues with the internet i have even ipv6 support plus a free static address uh is that in finland or somewhere else andre says 100 megabyte is about 600 700 rubles about seven eight euros okay well that's a similar price okay that's that's cheap so it's not only in finland where we have actually cheap uh, 
internet speeds because people say that in Finland everything is kind of exp- expensive, but mobile data and internet is one of the few things that are quite inexpensive, at least if you ask me. Forty dollars for one hundred gigabytes in Sweden. So it that's a quota. Is is am I understanding correct? So so what I'm so just to recap so the connection that's coming out from my wall over there, one hundred megabytes per second. Is it per second? I, I think it's per second. And unlimited use. Uh, John Lehtonen says in Maryland, USA, internet costs sixty dollars per month, one hundred megabyte, including rent. For modem, ah, so okay, yeah. Actually, that's a great point, John. Uh, I had to get the modem myself, the router. And if you move to Finland, you get uh, come to a, you rent a flat. You have to actually get the router yourself. I have been to one place where the lesser had an extra router, and he just allowed us the tenant, which was me, or who was me, to use it. So he was kind of nice. But you have to get the router yourself. I'm also going to talk about this, how to get your internet set up in, in your new flat in the Moving to Finland course. So that's going to be also covered. Megabits, not megabytes. Okay, great. <laughs> you know, don't, don't get, don't get, um, or don't be, what am I even trying to say here? I think I need to, because sometimes my mouth is working faster than my brain. <laughs> so sometimes I need to, okay. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. In Finland, Helsinki. Okay, so it, it's the same what I'm using. The modem was included in our contract. Okay, so in my case, the operator sold me the op- so he they sold the modem or the router, and it was twenty nine euros. So it's basically mine now. But yeah, why not? I think it's was quite quite inexpensive. Some operators offer modem. Yeah, I, I actually got the modem from Telia. I, there's a Telia broadband in this building. Actually, my landlord provides 10 megabit. Yeah, so this is exactly how it works here. So Telia offers, or, or Sato is actually the lesser where I'm living. So I'm living in a Sato building. They offer 10 megabyte for free. But I wanted to upgrade to 100 because, first of all, I can completely deduct the fee because I'm using this as a business cost for my YouTube stuff, good stuff in that sense, and it's cheap as AF, at least in my opinion, to get 10, 100, 10 times faster internet with 10 euros only. So, mm, 25, 35 euros for unlimited 200 megabytes free installation in Hong Kong. Okay, well, that's uh, that's not too bad, I think. That's twice the fast you get the router included. Okay, it's a little bit more expensive. Great, uh, we have a new question in the, or we have two new questions on the, uh, on the, blah, 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 blah. on the uh, form, let me, I'm just checking that I didn't miss any super chats. Uh, yeah, the next question we have is from mm, Helen. She's from Russia with love again. <laughs> I, I hope Russian people don't get offended because it's like the Russia from, with love. I think it's, uh, I think it was from a movie or for a song or whatever. Anyway, uh, uh, she's already living in Finland. She's studying here. She got into, became interested in Finland because people in the country itself seem, seemed so nice to live here. That's great. And the question is, do you have any opinion about Uvascul as a city to live in? How are people there, many places to work, especially if you don't in Finnish? Well, Helen, thank you for the question. And luckily, I have actually lived in Uvascul. Did you guys know that? So before uh, Tampere, I actually studied a year in Uvascul. So after high school or like the upper secondary school, I went to army for a year because in Finland, the guys have to serve in the army. And before the army, I applied to Uvascula in the mathematics department. I got accepted, but then I went to army, and after army, I went to study. Uh, I think Uvascula is pretty, pretty fantastic city. Uh, it's uh, it's a little bit like a smaller version of Tampere, 
Uh, but I think it's a really enjoyable city. I, I I liked it there. The problem with why why I moved out was because I didn't like the mathematics as a major, like university mathematics. Holy shit, that was so tough, tough some some tough stuff there. You know, like the pure mathematics as a science. That was something mind boggling. Uh, and then I found a more interesting major in Tampa, and that's why I moved there. But Juvas City, very nice. Uh, from jobs wise, I don't really know. I can't really say much because I've never applied for jobs in US Kula. But uh, I would say there are some options. I think you need to do the research yourself, unfortunately. But as a city, I do I did like it. Great. Thanks, Helen, for the question. Uh, next question we had from Rishi. Uh, he's from India and he's moving to Finland within a year for studies. Uh, Finland is one of his favorite countries in the whole world. That's fantastic. In India, and the question is in India, one, 129 gigabytes of 4G that cost approximately like nine euros. Okay, so this was an answer to the previous discussion. Okay. But that sounds quite cheap if it's just like a bulk you buy 130 gigabytes of stuff 4g but that's like mobile that's not like fixed like wi-fi i guess because i don't know how much i'm actually consuming wi-fi data with my phone with my computers with my phone when we're watching netflix or something great i think actually it's actually quite fun to interact with you guys with the new setup what do you guys think about it about this new setup with the microphone is the, is the sound quality good to you how is the this the the comment pop-ups bring ups what do you guys think about this i would love to hear your feedback let me know in the comments marco mentions you ask a nice city it's my home city i studied there my masters then i moved to town but a great city also from there i moved to this very more small city because i got the job there okay Good to get some other Finnish opinions as well. Really appreciate it. Uh, wake up, Hossein. Hossein says, Hi, Alex, as an international student in Finland, can I work there? And what is the situation for working there? And what types of jobs usually students do? Uh, well, okay, if you come outside of European Union and you, you need, obviously, a residence permit, if you come here to study, I think you can work 25 hours per week alongside your studies uh, and if you come outside of if you are a european union citizen you can work freely as much as you want there's no limitations what types of jobs usually students do uh, well some people might work in in restaurants some people might work as a paper distribution uh, there's different kinds of things i i worked only for summer jobs outside of the semesters uh, some people actually get like some even some coding work if you are like a coding software guy studying software stuff uh yeah i i guess it depends i'm not the right person to it but uh, a, a person who i think i can actually give him a shout out hold on let me just i will show you a great great resource where you can find answers related to this. So hold on, I'm just gonna open it here. I can demonstrate this screen share feature of this stream yard as well. Let me try this now, share screen. Don't show this again, Chrome tab, road to finish. Let's share it and Boom, guys, I, I I hope it's, I'll, I'll put it full screen. I think it's easier for you. So Road to Finish, uh, it's run by my buddy Oliver. He makes videos about studying and working in Finland. And here's, for example, the video, how to find part-time jobs for international students in Finland, 15 tips. So I think this video will already give you some quality, quality information. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to smash the subscribe and well, no, not, not smash, just hit it once and smash the like button on his videos as well because Oliver makes some pretty pretty kick-ass kick -ass content for working and studying in, in Finland. So I think there you can find the answers to this. 
uh, this topic. So hopefully it helps. Uh, uh, uh. Let me just stop the screen scare and go back to the. Let me just check the form. Okay, no more stuff there. Need a finished flag behind you. Yeah, I, I think we need to come up with some I think that I could put here during the streams. Maybe I could reach out some Finnish companies and have their branded brand or something. <laughs> so we could even monetize it maybe. A great setup and the quality is good. Cool. That's that's great to hear. Uh the sound is great and it also looks nice. Yeah, yeah, because I'm on the free plan, I can only stream in 720p. So it's not the full HD, but it's still, I, I think it's kind of serves its purpose. And I have the corn logo on the corner. So that's something, but I, I don't think it really matters at this point. We're just trying things out. Uh, Furblings says, does line velvet really mean law enforcement? I, I think it does. I think it does. Uh, what does Joe has to say, have to say? Uh, you'll find some people like that everywhere, but in general, those two things are not an issue. Okay, we would, this is related to something before. I think I missed it. Yes, yeah, sell the space for ads. I think that sounds like a plan. Definitely. Let me scroll a little bit. There was something. Uh, Alas, British, does Finland imitate American oddities like cancel cult culture or lack of context awareness? So America has cancel culture and context awareness. Uh, well, I guess it depends. I, 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 I think I can't really say any like a silver bullet answer to this. But we do cancel stuff in Finland as well, as, but obviously if you cancel, it's always better to do it uh, as, as soon as possible, you know. Context awareness. Well, I think context awareness sounds something that if you have context awareness, it's always better than not to have. So I guess I guess that's what I what I have to say for this one. What is context awareness? Uh-huh. Chelson Ospina says, there are a lot of people without documents in Finland. What happened with them if they are over there? Uh, I think these people are considered as asylum seekers, but I don't really know how it works specifically. I know that we have those here, but uh, that's, that's, that's all I know. Wake up, Hossein. Thanks for a great answer. I'm already studying as an international student in Portugal, but I want to move is there any way that I can transfer and come to Finland? Um, I don't know, but Oliver might have some information about that as well. Hyvä Vappua. Yes, Vappu is kind of over already, but we had a quite nice Vappu. We had some friends over here. So Vappu is this like a spring slash summer celebration in Finland, 1st of May. <laughs> had a great time. Great time indeed. Hold on. Fixing up some stuff there. Uh, next question we had. And yeah, if, if you just tune in, if you want to uh, submit and get your questions answered, there's a form link or link to a form in the description. You can click it. You can send your question there. And I will read those like on a first come, first serve basis basis so if you wanna uh my opinion on something finland related go ahead and do that are you still bringing the dog yeah i was just actually thinking about it. i think we could bring noah noah over here he's i think he's sleeping on the other room but i think if if i just call him he's gonna come he's gonna come so i think i'm just wondering like how how i'm gonna do with the with the camera, but I think I'm just gonna put it, put it there. But yeah, uh, we will. Let's call Noah in a in a moment. Uh, I miss the old Alexi. Never the never fold Lexi. Okay, 
uh, I think I, I lost 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 the joke there. Uh, what is the best way to make friend during Corona in Finland? Well, I think that's going to be quite challenging nowadays because the, of the restrictions. But I guess online forums is always the way to go. Some Discord servers of the topic you're into it into. Um, yeah, uh, that uh, I think that's a question that everyone wants to wants to be answered. Uh, what are Finnish schools like? I think there are some videos about that on YouTube in general. I think you can find some answers there. There, because I don't think there are anything special. Spe 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 and it kind of depends what you want to know. What do you want to know about that? Katya says, do you think that the weather can be a huge factor when it comes to moving to Helsing? I'm Greek girl and it's kind of crucial. I, I, I definitely. I think that's one of the factors that you should consider because if you come from a country where it's warm all around the year, in Finland it's gonna be not going to be like that. In the uh, in the winter it can be quite cold, quite quite dark, and it's going to be a challenge definitely if you haven't ever haven't been through that before. But I would approach this more like as a challenge accepted mindset. It's going to be like okay. I know it's going to be cold, I know it's going to be dark, but I, if I can prepare, if, if I just prepare for it, I know what steps to take, I know what things to do during those times, you can definitely get through it. And there's all, all, a bunch of cool things you can do in the winter that you can't really do, for example, in, 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 uh, in uh, Greece. So definitely, I mean, that's definitely something to consider should i subscribe absolutely if you haven't subscribed maybe sure to do that because you will get more finland related content about finnish culture lifestyle and language what are some good finnish movies to watch and songs to hear uh well i think i've right write a few in the comments uh well one classic is tuntematon sotilas it uh, tells about the Finnish, Finland's phase in the world, Second World War. Mielensä pahoittaja is quite fun. It's kind of like this comedy movie. And Mestari Chang, this is actually a very nice movie. It tells about this Chinese dude who moves to Finland and he has to kind of learn the Finnish culture and these kind of things. Uh, I think those those three might be might be good options. Ah, okay. I, I put like a line break, but it, they don't appear quite nicely there. Oh, well, there's a space at least. Uh, Daniel mentions Pahat Poyat. Uh, that's, uh, it's not a comedy, but it's more like a drama movie, maybe, I think. I haven't watched it, but it's, it's an old one. Unknown Soldier. Yeah, Unknown Soldier is is Tunteman so Tuntematon Sotilas. Häijyt. Häijyt I have never watched, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think weather is a real challenge, but it's a question of adopting the weather. Yeah, that's the thing. Because when you come to Finland, you cannot change the weather, but you can change your mindset and your actions, how you are going to handle it. So the ball is in on your hands or you have the ball why you skip my message well there's so many messages coming in i might skip off some of the there's so much stuff coming in you know i'm just a regular finnish dude i'm multitasking controlling the mic looking at the camera looking at the co my two monitors here so if i cannot reply to everything just bear me bear with me we have a new comment on the forum. Let's check that one out. How much have we? Oh, we've been only one and a half hours streaming already. Holy moly. Next question is coming from Jenny from US, but living in Canada. She's moving to Finland within a year. That's amazing. Uh, Jenny's partner will be stunning. And she wants to, 
she likes to learn about other countries and cultures in general. And the question is, Moi Alexi, I started to learn Finnish with Duolingo and they introduced some concepts. I'm not sure what they are. Can you shed some light on what Sisu is? Aha, uh -huh, okay. So I think I have to make a video about Sisu because I get questions about it all the time. Uh, like one year ago or something, I was kind of planning or researching, but I didn't really know like what I should actually include to it, but I think I have to make it at some point. So Sisu is this like a Finnish, is it perseverance and grit? So like not giving up and going over your limits and and these kind of things. So if you're facing hardships, how you're gonna still keep pushing and and so on. So basically, this is this is on like an idea level or like a general level. This is what Sisu is. If there's any other Finns or anyone who want, has some deeper insights about Sisu, please share. But that's kind of what it is in a nutshell. Daniel Anderson said, you can only be born with Sisu. Well, I do disagree to some extent. I think you can, I think you can learn, learn Sisu and also learn how to use it in your life. Uh, yeah, so, so like Carl says, you can learn Sisu as well. I, I think I think that's true. Tina Luoma welcomes us. I really like this way you're talking in English and Finnish. Well, obviously, if there's a Finnish word or something that you should know, I will definitely speak it in, in Finnish as well. Alexander says, Duolingo has some weird phrases and not many explanations. Check out Alex's courses. Yeah, by the way, if you if you want to learn Finnish, uh, spoken Finnish easily, I have created two beginner level courses for anyone who wants to learn Finnish and spoken Finnish especially. Uh, the link is in the description. Now I finally <laughs> included the, included the uh, link there in the description and I think I have also the pop-up. So yeah, if you want to get started with Finnish language or in, uh, like get additional resources for learning Finnish, check out my Finnish course on Teachable, link in the description. Thanks Alice for the shout out for the courses, I really like that as well. Uh oh, uh, we have a new question in the form, let's take that one next. <laughs> Uh, we have a <laughs> message from Chicken Little. He is from the United States. He hasn't decided if he is going to move to Finland, but he's interested in studying. And he got interested in Vino because of my stereotypes video. That's amazing. I hear California has the same weather as Finland. What's your opinion on this? Uh, I don't think that's true. I think California has way warmer weather all around the year. If there's any people from California, <laughs> let me know. But I think California's located quite in the south. So I would think it's quite warm there. So I don't think that's... Uh, maybe in the summer it could be, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Is there any Californians over here? Uh, Rishi mentions, uh, Sisu has really helped me during COVID times. I also included in my motivation letter and really, I'm now ready to move to Finland this autumn. Awesome. Good stuff, Rishi. Uh, Alex British says, Alec, Aleki. I think this type. Alex, you mentioned the form of Finnish comes out of clumsy. Why this? Should we always stick to some dialect? Okay. Um, so in Finland or in, in the Finnish language, you have two versions. Well, well, I like to call it like two versions of the standard Finnish and the spoken Finnish. And how do how these two differ are, well, or how would I explain it? Like the standard Finnish is something that is written in the formal letters, for, formal announcements, and for example, the people who are reading the news. But in, in the real conversations, people actually use, use a version or like a, a form called spoken Finnish. And how, what are, what are the main differences? Well, for example, some of the web forms, 
and some of the grammatical structures are a little bit different. Uh, there's maybe a dozen of them. And if you use if you use the standard Finnish that the books read, you come across a little bit stiff and a little bit too formal because that's not that's not spoken Finnish. Because we Finns speak use the spoken Finnish when we are, for example, talking with each other or sending each or sending messages on WhatsApp or Messenger and so on. And that's the re that's the reason. Why has it why has it evolved in such a way? I don't know. It's it's kind of interesting. Uh, so it's not uh, well. How would I say? There's a there's a type of type of uh, spoken Finnish called the general spoken language, which for example I do. So if I'm ask some random stranger and ask them, can can they figure out from which part of Finland I come based on how I speak? They, they will say no because in my area uh, where I come from there is no like a specific dialect so a dialect is like another uh, it's kind of like a f another form of the spoken Finnish right so we have we have we have standard Finnish then we have spoken Finnish and gen and dialects are like a type of different versions of the spoken Finnish did it make any sense? So that's the that's the reason. And in my sp online courses, I teach. Uh, well, I'm I mostly focus on the spoken Finnish because I think that's more important to learn. I well, obviously, I will cover some of the standard forms as well. But I I usually focus on the spoken Finnish because that's the language Finns actually use. Great, that's a great question. That's a, that's a great question, definitely. Uh, do I have a Discord server? Well, not the moment. Not at the moment. I used to have one before, but at some point I realized like I have too many social media channels, and I, I kind of just never showed up in the Discord server. So it's not like an unofficial one. Maybe in the future I might bring it back. Uh, but the Northern California is where the redwood tree forests are. There's so much beautiful nature there. Maybe nature-wise, it could be the same. But I think we were talking about the climate. No comparison to Finnish climate by Tapi. Okay. Northern California can get pretty cold. Totally different weather than Southern. Okay. Maybe that's the South California. What's what was in my in my mind? I haven't never been to states or California at least not yet. California has Mediterranean weather or climate. That's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Which country has the best prisons? <laughs> Sweden or no Finland or no Sweden or Norway. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Hopefully I never end up in one. But it would be cool to make a video about prisons in Finland, I guess, in the future, some somehow if I can reach out to Finnish prisons. I don't know. Uh uh. uh, uh. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's take the next question. Swedish prisons are at full capacity. Yeah, never been to prison. Yeah, I never been to jail as well. Actually, I, I, like a quick funny story from my early. I I, I think I was I was like eighteen or nineteen. I was in the age when I was able to go to nightclubs. Uh, I was there with a bunch of friends of mine, friends of mine. Uh, there was one guy from another city who was staying at one of the other friend's place. And we went to the clubs. We were there just drinking and, you know, dancing and all these kind of things. Then uh, suddenly the friend... Uh, the friend of mine disappeared and I couldn't find him at all. I was trying to call him, do, 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 didn't reach him. And then I just went, uh, went home later. And before I went home, I was just making sure that the guy who was supposed to stay at the friend, stay at my friend's place, like, did he find a place? 
uh, well, there were some other friends and he was, he said, okay, I'm just going to ask the other friends. And then the next day I was, I reached out to my friend like, hey, did what happened? Because I didn't, didn't uh, hear what, hear from you. Like, what, 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 hap what happened? And he told like, I woke up in jail. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? Really? What happened? So it seems that he had found some acquaintance of him. He had went to Hesburger. Hesburger is kind of like the Finnish McDonald's. And he had passed out on the Hesburger table. And the other person had creeped out. Like he called the police. And the police said, like, okay, just try to wake him up. But he, so the, my friend, so my friend was the one who passed out. And then eventually he just was lying there. So had the the police and the police took him to the jail. And the most funny thing of this story is that the person, the guy from the other city who was supposed to be staying at the pla place of the guy who passed out, he hadn't found, he had not found a place to stay. Luckily it was summer. It was very warm. So he had, he went to the railway station and he slept on the bench of the railway station outdoors in the summer in Finland and he took the first bus or first train to his home <laughs> that was so weird that was like a, a 12 years ago or something kind of weird stuff but true story true story WTF welcome to Finland great let's take the next next question Oh yes, any advice for a British guy who just moved to Finland and starting conscription in July? Oh wow, okay, interesting. Uh, well, learn Finnish. I think that's gonna be the most crucial one because uh, I don't think, well, I think they know some English there, but all the main stuff is gonna be carried out in Finnish. So I think learning some Finnish and army, army related stuff definitely will help. Is it possible to learn Finnish to speak without much accent? What do you think about it? Well, I wouldn't worry about the accent. You, you can always unlearn the accent later on. I, I, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, Alex is ignoring my questions. You got this, so ask another. What about the situation with racism and nationalism in Finland? I know there are lots of Finns, Russians, and Ukrainian. Yeah, I mean, Finns are, I would say Finns are like patriotic. They care about the country. We've had quite a few big wars in the past, and we want to preserve our country. And, you know, you know, yeah, so you probably know what I mean. And, I think what most Finns think is that if someone wants to come here, pay taxes, understand our culture, you know, live like Finns, no problem. No problem. That's that's what I think. Uh, uh, uh. Daniel, I hope you have a great day. Where do you buy the merch? So if you want to get the fantastic merch, link in the description maybe i can open it actually for you so oh can i find it somewhere but the link link is in the description at least and if you just click it you can see the options uh you can they will ship it to your place I think there's a worldwide shipping. Okay, well, I, there's some problems there, but the link is there at least in the description. There's like a merge, fantastic merge. So make sure to get it there. Uh, let's see if there was any form question. Okay, there's a new question in the forms. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So the next question is from, hold on, let me just. Make them a little bit uh, from Kevin from the US. He hasn't decided whether he wants to move to Finland, but uh, her his ex wife was born there, and extended family lives there. That's interesting. And the question is, what's the best way to communicate and practice in Finnish when no one speaks it and you've got limited 
time. Duolingo got it, many textbooks, no helper, translated movies, programs, and Savo Litima translated, paraphrase in a bad way. Any recommendations? I looked at Prisma dot fi adds to learn spoken and i need to some help to be fluent uh paska <laughs> great okay what i would do uh hold on let me just in that case especially if you live in a place where you don't have access to fins uh i'm gonna show you one one resource ah it's in german for some reason but uh, because I've been using it in German. I'm going to share my screen in a little bit. And I'm going to show you one way. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, so many pop-ups coming in. Okay, yeah, let me just show you this. Just a moment. Okay, but the idea what I would suggest you to do is to get a Finnish speaking tutor. And the way to do it is uh, the easy service for that is called italki. Uh, it's this like online platform where you can get pretty inexpensive uh, Finnish, uh, well, tutors in any language, but also in Finnish. Uh, here is the uh, here is the website. I can probably I'll try to zoom in it a little bit for you. And here are the Finnish teachers. There's actually some Russians also teaching Finnish. That's which is quite interesting. And as you can see, you can get one hour of practice with a real Finnish person, sixteen euros and sixteen euros per hour. I think that's very cheap if you consider some professional teachers that would uh charge like 60 euros an hour there's jonathan with 20 euros an hour uh maureen with only as low as 10 uh 10 euros an hour villa is, villa is a professional teacher he charges 33 hour, 33 euros an hour you can watch their video introductions and you can just book the lesson here and it's actually quite simple because you can choose the time and you don't have to leave your house to do this so this is actually very nice i've used uh i've i once took like german lesson just to try it out and actually it's actually quite nice so this is what i would do and there's a link in the description uh, for this if you use my link to buy a buy a lesson from here you get another ten dollars credit to buy another lesson and i think this is one of the best platforms what i recommend if you don't have access to finnish people in your area because if you get a finnish speaking partner who can speak finnish with you who can teach you how to pronounce finnish properly who can teach you how to have finnish conversations you're gonna make progress so much faster i have learned japanese and german in in the past and i had speaking par partners and it skyrocketed my progress and i strongly recommend to try well obviously people say okay well, alex it costs money i want a free res resources but you know you get what you pay for so free resources are nice i definitely use free resources myself but if you want to turbo boost your your progress investing in yourself i think is definitely worth the money italki.com link to the affiliate link in the description so if you use my link you will get ten dollars in credits if you buy a lesson without any extra cost great so italk is the name of the resource good question and make sure to utilize italki let's take the next question thank you for the replies thank you alexander i hope my answers are helpful rishi says finnish sounds so pleasant and mainly filius to my ears anyone having the same experience i have actually heard it someone once said that finnish language sounds like someone is casting like a spell 
and, and so that was that's probably the best definition of Finnish language. Uh, Esther says for Hungarian, it's so not so difficult to learn Finnish. Hungarian is more complicated. Yeah, Hungarian and Finnish are actually remotely related. Did you guys know that? Uh, Vivian says, I wouldn't say Finnish language is that difficult. Depends what kind of languages did you study it so far, but you need to send enough time for studying. Yeah, I mean, you cannot really learn Finnish like like that. You have to give it time, especially in the beginning. Like getting inside the language takes time, but once you do, it's going to get easier from there. The same thing happened to me with Japanese. I was like banging my... <laughs> head against the desk for six months but then just something like like a switch flipped in my head and i was like fuck i, I, I can actually understand this line <laughs> it made much more sense cool let's take another question from the form just gonna wrap the text and the next question is from ale not Alexi, Ale, that's actually quite cool. Or is it Ale? I hope I'm not pronouncing the name completely. I, I think I'm going to go with Ale. From Peru, she's moving to Finland within three years, so she's planning to do so for studying. And she got interested in Finland because of the language and the culture. And she asked, hey, Alexi, which is the best university in Finland? Uh, great question. Well, in Finland, we don't really care about university rankings that much so it doesn't really matter where you actually study as long as you get a degree from there like the employers don't really care whether you studied in Tampere University of Technology or Aalto University or University of Joensu or Aalto Academy University as long as you just have the degree well but if we really look at the rankings the official ranking as the statistics i think alto university on university of helsinki are probably the most prestigious ones but to be to be honest i don't think they really they don't really matter it's a good question thanks thanks Ale, for the question uh people are having a question why why finland finland has such a low population joe says uh, learning any language is difficult but i think finnish is a pretty simple a logical language only issue that there's no much in common i think that's a very good point from joe because many of the other major languages for example in europe like spanish english german italian and so on they come from a language group called indo-european languages so they actually have kind of the same roots if we just trace go back in the trace back quite a bit but finland and finnish comes from a completely different family tree which is called fin ugric language group or tree whatever it's called so that's why when people start to learn finnish they think like fuck this is so weird, so different what I've used to do before. And that's just how it works. So that's Joe has a good point. Lil Panadero is cracking up. That's nice. It's a mobile phone throwing an official sport in Finland. I don't know if it's an official sport, but it, it is actually a sport. Who throws the mobile phone the furthest? I have never, but it's it's not like an everyday thing. I've never done it myself. I don't know anyone who has done it before. <laughs> so, uh, Marco says, I got masters in University of Uvascula, masters in chemistry or Finnish, FM, tutkinto, chemiasta, yeah, philosophy, master, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> interesting questions okay we've almost been streaming for two hours i think we're gonna take a few more questions and around the two hour mark we can probably wrap this stream up but let's take this more questions questions coming in 
Hazel says, hey Alex, I hope you're doing well. I actually move in with my Finnish boyfriend soon. Those sexy Finnish guys are doing good stuff again. Do you have any advice for tips living with the Finnish guy? <laughs> We're getting back to the dating thing. Um, well, that's again such an individual thing. I don't think we can, uh, or I, I don't think I can give any specific tips for living with the Finnish guy. But I, you know, I, I, I would probably just give the basic tips that I would give to anyone living together. Like the communication is important. Uh, money management, I think it's something is quite all easily overlooked, like how you split the costs and everything, how you're going to split the housework. Uh, these kind of things, how you're going to also make sure you have your own lives, even though you're living together. So I think this just discussing things through and make sure the communication works and everything and also the stuff in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, let's not get into that. Not they want to not want to demonetize this stream. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, but that's that's what I would say. That's what I would say. Uh, 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 Joe says, I look part in a Nokia drawing event once. It was for the city wide culture. Oh, okay. So it's actually been, there's been a real events for that. That's nice. Also, the running on your wife on your back. Final has the craziest sports. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, it's called wife carrying. Uh, and there's a world championships contest every year in Finland for that sport. So you carry your wife on your back or, yeah, well, usually it's on your back and you have to complete an obstacle course and the winner gets a barrel of beer and the amount is decided on the way, on the way of the wife. <laughs> Can you guys believe it? So if the wife weighs, let's say, 60 kilograms, you get... 60 kilograms of beer, <laughs> to put it very simply, in a barrel. What else would you love to love to do? Uh, okay, let me just close that. Let me just check. How many thumbs ups do we have? I need to check that. Guys, we need 100 likes. Can we do it together? We need uh, We need 18 more. Thumbs ups. Let's do it. Shit, where is the thing I need to get a third screen? Uh, 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 uh. I think wife carrying sport is one of one of a kind, unique and beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> you don't you don't get to see that anywhere else in the world, I would I would say. Should I like? Absolutely. Uh, let's let's see. Can we? Oh shit! I'm clicking the wrong wrong tabs. Ninety three likes. Seven more. Let's do it. Uh, oh yeah, we can wrap up the stream by it calling Noah the dog. Over here, we can. I forgot to do that as well. We can do that. Uh, Yeah, let's take one more question. Uh, what is something that you Finland could improve upon? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, well, something what I'm just concerned is like the future of this country because, you know, the politics and the government, there's always... Um, always their decisions are be criticized and you know this they, they're they're ma making it so that finland is taking more debt then there's going to be more like tax raises or some cuts so i don't think that there's like financially wise they're not making better decisions do i have a, a better decision better idea from on my own probably not but this is just like how I feel it, it's going. So, because it seems that we are 
we are kind of lacking behind, especially if we compare to some other Nordic countries. Well, and I guess obviously it depends where exactly we are comparing to, but yeah, that's that's something I'm a little bit concerned. 100 likes, great. 103 likes. Yeah, let, let me, I'll, I'll go get Noah the dog. Hold on a second, I'm gonna just mute my, I'll be back. Okay. Okay, I need to take the camera. What could know about them? Noah is over here. Sorry about the bed. That's our bed, by the way, on the back. No, I don't. fantastic sit down. No, I saw a golden retriever. No, no, I is telling to subscribe and hit thumbs up. Now he wants some scratches. He always does it like he parks his back like this and then he. Yeah, he he never barks. Actually, it's kind of cool. No, come on. Yeah, he's just one scratches. <laughs> yeah, make sure to hit thumbs up for no about. Yeah, it's actually quite okay. No eyes out. Yeah, at least you got to see him. And when we do those walking live streams, we can definitely, definitely show him also more in the future. Okay, but thank you for this live stream. I think this is a very interesting uh, pilot. Let me know if you want me to do these streams more in the future like where you get to submit the questions i will answer them and also show noah the dog as well so let me know in the chat make sure to follow me on instagram I'll link in the description and if you want to learn finnish make sure to check out my finnish courses on teachable link to those in the description as well uh, i think this was actually quite nice interesting tryout i like the the setup uh, i like the software i'm also on the free plan so i think i might consider upgrading the pro plan it actually doesn't cost that much uh how much do i live stream i usually do live streams weekly in some form of another uh but anyways thank you so much for this live stream more videos coming next week as well so make sure to subscribe hit the bell button i will see you next time thank you so much kiitos kaikille moi moi